Greetings, YouTube. I've discussed in the past how much I despise the phrase pet taxes are theft because it is bullshit of the first water. But I read a lovely little tirade about this particular topic recently, and I thought I'd share it with you. It's just two paragraphs. Um, I'm so tired of the taxes are theft and taxes are evil types. Go live off um, grid if you don't like it. Do you want clean water, roads, bridges, traffic lights, libraries, public education, cheaper food, etc.? Then you pay taxes. If you don't want to pay taxes, then you shouldn't be able to benefit from anything that pays for it. I swear, I'm contemplating driving to a conservative area and plastering signs on street signs that, and shit that says paid for by taxes. Furthermore, their taxes are theft bullshit mentality really just takes the blame off of employers who most definitely aren't paying their fair share and who are most definitely not paying you enough. Want more money? Your boss has it. The rich are literally eating gold and hemorrhaging money for fun when they aren't hoarding it overseas and you want to complain about taxes that actually benefit you. Which is true. Yep. The rich have your money. Amazon is worth billions and they paid no taxes in 2017. Why is that? Why aren't we requiring corporations to pay their fair share? Now recently they lowered corporate tax rates in America which I think was a really stupid idea. Um, I would have not only kept the tax rates at 35 percent which I believe they were um, but I would have made sure that they actually paid every penny of that 35 percent every single one now you want to tax small businesses less than big businesses i think there's an argument for that okay i think we would want to we've got to encourage small businesses in your community to exist so maybe giving them a tax break is worth it but i also want people to get paid a living wage so minimum wage of 15 dollars an hour is the floor right now the minimum wage in america is seven and a quarter you can't live anywhere in America on seven and a quarter of an hour. You can't. You can't do it. It's not possible. Now, if you actually had let the uh, minimum wage grow along with inflation, and you look at the amount of work that you get out of laborers who get paid seven and a quarter, they should be getting paid around $21 an hour. That's what they should be making. But they aren't. Why? Because people in charge of corporations have so much money, they can just buy Congress and have Congress do whatever they want. And I know people are going to say, but if there's more minimum wage, there won't be many people to hire. Well, here's the thing. If your business can only exist by exploiting workers, and paying them poverty level wages, then you don't deserve to be in business. Period. We are not all here to just provide theatrical dressing for someone's dream of being a business owner. If you cannot pay a living wage, you are a bad business owner. Period. And we shouldn't be entertaining these people. We shouldn't be playing along with their business cosplay. That's not our job. It is not why we exist. A business owner who can pay a living wage and still make a profit, those are the people we should be putting in charge of things. But we don't. We let anyone start a business and because the minimum wage is so small, they're allowed to just pay poverty wages. Literally, poverty wages. I mean, there are people working at Walmart making even $10 or $11 an hour who have to get assistance from the government, our tax dollars, not the wealthy. Remember, they're not paying any taxes, our dollars to survive. So don't give me the taxation is theft bullshit. I don't want to listen to it. It is stupid. It is monumentally ignorant. And no, I am not fond of libertarian political beliefs. They are sophomoric at best. As in, like, if you hand them to a sophomore, after about 20 seconds, they're going to start going, you know, if you extrapolate this to, 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 uh, out at all beyond the initial statement, this is dumb. Yeah, I was enamored of uh, libertarian politics when I first heard them. 
and I, to my much, much to my uh, disgrace, it took me longer than 20 seconds to realize what bullshit it was, but not much longer. It took me about two to four months till I realized this is dumb, and I stopped having anything to do with that kind of a concept, and I moved gradually towards being a full-blown, filthy, pinko progressive. Um, so, let's talk about the bullshit that is taxations or theft. That's just dumb. It is horrible. It is bad for us. It is bad for the economy, and it is undermining our power as workers. The wealthy have the money. They've taken it from us. We need to take it back. Flat out. They've stolen it. We need it back so we can survive, so we can be comfortable, and we do not have to worry about going bankrupt because someone in your family gets sick, which happens in America a lot. Do you know how often people go bankrupt in uh, competent countries with functioning healthcare systems? Never. Remember that. Only in America, among the developing nations, can you go bankrupt because someone gets sick. So, the rich have our money. It's high time we get it back.